Club. This is not a spring ticket. Yes, we're back out at the beach again today. Where we actually could have been, we found out late last night, that we could have been at the Breaking Dawn premiere this morning. If we went to press check in at 6, possibly we could be there. We showed up at 6 a.m. this morning. Yes, 6 a.m. for a press call, for a press check in. Even though the carpet starts at 4 30 and the screening starts at 7 p.m. tonight. That would have been a really long day if you got it. Two birds diving oh, up really? a full coverage. Okay. Oh. Boy, they're really, they're actually the whole bunch of them diving. Oh, they are. And how do you know Hillary Clinton is running for president? Chelsea was just announced this morning that Chelsea Clinton has been hired to give commentary on the next election. And they, yes. they do this with President uh, with uh, uh, politicians' children, especially those of presidents and vice presidents, right before they know they're going to run for office. And boy born at 11-11 on 11-11-11 to bet on Veterans Day. I, I know. That, is that a C-section? I uh, probably. The <laughs> problem is uh, you've got an awful lot of people that are veterans, so you probably didn't have to search very hard to find somebody well, that had one. That's true. It could just happen automatically. You know what I mean? Because there are a lot of veterans out there. Yeah. Dorm issues for Maryland college students onto cruise ships. I, I know, which is, it, what it means is that the college has more money than they know what to do with, so they're renting cruise ships out for their uh, students to, li to live on. What? Well, yeah. Wait, what, what? Why? Because that's the, it means that they've got so much money, they have endowments that they have to spend every year, and if they don't spend it, they lose it. So what's happened wow. is they decided to endow people with cruise rooms, which are far more luxurious than their uh, Than their room. dorm rooms, I would say. Yeah. Wow. Well, you know, just like a dorm room, though, they are small. Yeah. But that's pretty cool. I didn't... Well, yeah, yeah. Well, but school is that in Maryland? <laughs> yeah, probably University of Maryland. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Unlike any school I went to, in Venezuela rescues kidnapped baseball star Ramos. I know, which means that the, uh, it is the major league is now advising its players to stay out of Venezuela which basically is not what they want to have in Venezuela because they do have a lot of baseball players that come from there and now they're telling them not to go back. They've canceled uh, this cancel scouting expedition there now because the uh, communists are sort of taking over the country. Are you serious? Yeah. And Texas Judge has business with Younger Daughter Limited. Oh yeah, well because thou shalt not paddle a person and be caught doing it. Remember. Uh, spanking their kids is one of the things that got uh, uh, one of the Mandrell sisters' career wiped out. That besides suing a bunch of kids, uh, they lost their parents in an automobile accident. She sued kids. Ooh, Call of Duty has four hundred million dollars in sales on day one. Yeah, but it was basically a bit overhyped, and we've known about that thing for so long that you would have well, thought it would have done better. Well, because there's only so many people that are buying it same people all the time. I know, it's, the same, it's their same market every year and they buy it right when it comes out. They, they're not increasing their market. They're which doing pre-sales. I know, but uh, these people don't seem to understand when they make this announcement and the and they, this video game sales stay stagnant, it's because they're losing people that are buying these things because they don't have the money to pay for them anymore. And if you're thinking, oh, if a movie could do that, well, there's a difference between movies and games. Yeah, you don't pre-sell movies for one thing. You can. Well, you can, but the, on, on movies, there's a worldwide box office, and it, it continues to expand, whereas a game, they usually do it all pretty much at the beginning, yeah. and then afterwards. Yeah, so it's in the first... Well, actually, movies are the same way. Movies tend to hit their big mark the first week, like Immortals has hit its mark, and Immortals has nowhere to go but down now. That's unfortunate. They need it to better they spent I think 130 million dollars on that and, uh, and right now they've only made 68 million worldwide and they had to cover the cost they had to do about 450 million and U.S. puts tricky pipeline decision past 2012 election well yeah they've already said they're going to build they're going to build the pipeline across Canada and so the Chinese are going to pay for the new pipeline oh, really? so Obama is basically he's getting help from the unions uh, uh, 50,000 union workers would have been immediately put to work like tomorrow 
Yeah. And he basically, for political purposes, deep six uh, uh, members of the AFL CIO. Remember, they they have no love for this man to begin with. So now he just cost them all kinds of jobs. And Kane's defamation lawyer hired him on for accusations. Oh yeah, because they said that the charges aren't going anywhere against him. They said unless they, they have someone that actually files a criminal complaint is nothing more than what they, you know, uh, I mean, I've heard people saying, explaining to Bill O'Reilly and other people, well, what do these people have to gain? Well, I said they work for the President of the United States. That they're, they're meant to remove Cain because they can remove the black optical then. They said, well, we don't see how he could be involved. They said, well, half the people that are following the suits work for the President. Mm -hmm. That is rather convenient, isn't it? Oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah. And lenders to grow the Camp Olympus has delisting loans, the source. I know, that company, I mean, I would have thought that that company, what it is, it's heavily, it's heavily invested in Japanese government bonds, so the government is basically letting it slowly die rather than to uh, simply, you know, it's like, it's like Obama in the housing business. Obama won't let it die so it can get over it. And the Japanese government won't let that thing, well, because a lot of the people in the upper echelons of the government are heavily invested in the company, too, so. And Italy Senate set to vote for cuts to save the euro zone. Maybe by Friday. You think so? Well, they said maybe by Friday, and they said that the euro zone is, is, the euro is on the way out because the, uh, they said as Greece is getting ready, they said Greece has no problem if they go back to the drachma. And that Italy has very little problems if they go back to the lira. So basically, you know, the, as the Greeks are not going to approve anything, they said the Greek government will fall just as soon as there's an next election, and the Italian government will fall as soon as there's an next election. And then they're going to dump the eurozone, folks. The eurozone is officially dead. Oh really? They just don't know it yet. So. And Greece PMs in crisis cabinet. The eurozone shutter. Well, yeah, because the people on the left and the right are never going to agree. The people on the left, want they don't want things to change, and the people on the right say they got to change because there's no money. And it's just like our country. They, you, can't get, you can't raise taxes on people that have no money, so you have to raise taxes on the people who don't live in Greece, ah. which isn't going to work because they don't live in Greece. And Turkish police fire tear gas in Quake City. Yeah, well, because they've got riots. So let's, okay, Turkey is, okay, why Turkey has never become any more powerful than it is is because it's built in an earth fault zone and basically they have got awful devastating quakes and they don't have the abilities of building earthquake facilities because they don't have the money in Turkey. Oh, really? Yeah. And Russian craft set to blast off a mission to space station. Well, the last one blew up. Oh, it did? Yeah, which makes you really feel comfortable about sending people and crafts going up now. So this one's an iffy. They hope that the uh, that the story thing will work because it's supposed to go up and bring people back. And report problem deputy sent to work at Los Angeles jail. Yeah, because what they're doing is the same thing. Okay, like we, we saw the movie Rampart a, a week or so ago, and generally what they do is they sh they shift people around that are problems. They never force them out. They just shift them from position to position. Bad cops are now being shifted to the jails, which really make for more litigation. And with the Arab League vote, pressure mounts on his battle in Syria. They're not going to, they, they could care less what the Arab League thinks because they're the most powerful, you know, they're basically the most powerful military organization in the, in the Middle East, even more powerful than the Iranians. So when you've got a massive army, and you do have lots of resources because they've got lots of golf courts. What are you scared of? And Iraqi veteran hurt at Occupy Oakland protest in the hospital. Oh yeah, well he got hurt because he was breaking the law, folks. It's called, the law is the law is the law, and if you don't like the law, change the law, don't break the law. So right now, there's less and less sympathy with every day for these people, except for the Democratic National Committee, who loves them. Suspect arrested in German right wing terror probe. Yeah, well, all you gotta do is throw a coin in, in Germany and get somebody involved with a right wing organization. <laughs> Are you serious? Well, yeah, because, uh, okay, what do Germans do between wars? What? Plot to start the next war. Oh, is that? Well, yeah, really? I know, my family is from, a lot of them from Germany. They were like a thousand years of military personnel, oh, so I know what that goes on. They have to have an excuse. They're a militaristic society like the, the Japanese society was. They've never changed in Germany, though. And proposed environmental law waiver faces northern skeptics. 
uh, yeah, because uh, it's not going to get, okay, Obama is not going to give any waivers no matter what, because he needs the left and everything is, he has to have the left to win, he has to have half the left, which are the extreme loonies, to win re-election. So he'll cater to them every time, no matter what it costs you elsewhere. A Brazilian police takeover Rio de Janeiro is the biggest flop. Uh, I think because they're building for the Olympic Games that are coming down there. Oh, is that what they're doing? Yeah, they're cleaning all that area. They're putting new power stations in. Have you made a winner? The Olympic Games supposed to be there. In about three years. I think it's the summer oh. games. That are the, there's, this, there's this game, then 14 and 16 games. So. And Governor Penn State assistant failed with moral obligation. Okay, there's a problem. Um, there, it is what is morally right and there's what is legally right. Morally, no one really cares about anymore. You don't give a... Can you get arrested for moral obligations? No, you can't. You can get yes. sued, but there's a, the law is on your side. You do not. You are not required to report a crime in this country. It is not part of the system. If you don't report it, they can sue you. But they'll always win the case in appeals because the uh, the law is such that you know uh, reporting a crime can get you in more trouble than ignoring it. So. Oh, is that what it is? And a monkey bubble is from the Mark Twain and the Animal Kingdom. Uh, you're only as old as you personally know old to be to you.